Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19. Forget you, coach. Wolfman Lewis, you got by the wolf. Welcome back to the chill, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are. The 30th episode of the Dennis Ford My Career, right here on Madden 19. If you missed any of the other episodes, they're available here on the channel in a playlist. It's a must win to keep our playoff hopes alive. We are in the hunt. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. As I said, we are in the playoff that hunt. Tight end position. To keep our playoff hunt alive, we got to beat these every year New the England NFL. Patriots yeah, here at home. Really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed. Great hands and big bodies. 34 rushes to Buck 19 in the touchdown last week in the win. Numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Going up top. So the long it falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On third down, it's fourth. And an alley to run. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Two rushes, 23 yards for Deddy. Looks like he's going to come out for this one. Going to bring him in on this one. Second down and seven now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a one yard pick up there and it's gonna make it third down at six. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Mayfield looks to throw. And he's got it. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. One well, of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Why? Now hurry up, we're going to get delay of game if we don't. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. A great effort there with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Browns take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. So there you have it. Going on the opening drive. An absolute must-win game for them, so they needed to get on the board first. They were able to do just that. And you laid out the stakes. PAT is good. Kickoff. We get the first and ten. They get second and ten. Third and seven. First and ten. Second and oh. All right. And they'll go on the ground, trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're going exactly for right. I would say they've contained him very well. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the trotted. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, it's working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. 
Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden. The Browns with a football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. And he'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A gain of three, second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, Injury they just stick with it. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The Browns on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. And they'll go with a ground attack here. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Do we go for it? No, they don't want us to go for it. We're going for the field goal. 30-yard field goal attempt is good. We're up 10 to nothing. Incomplete pass, second down. Third and 13, incomplete pass. We're back in it. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. That was bad. I lost a yard or two there. Only one happy about the three point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> bad. I don't know about that. Bad. <laughs> Super tall. And they'll run it here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought 13 down. rushes, nice 53 game. yards. That's what they needed. It's an eight-yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. On third down. They knew that was coming. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. And we're going to punt it. First and ten. Second and two. And it looks like we got ourselves the ball back with 2.56 remaining. And they'll try to bring him in here with the running back. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Now Mayfield on fourth down. Fighting him off. Incomplete. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Hugh Jackson rolls the dice, but it... First and ten. Okay, we, we rolled the dice. I didn't I wasn't aware of that. I thought we were just gonna punt it. And they got a touchdown. We gotta watch ourselves from now on. We gotta watch ourselves. Take to come back on us. We'll take the field. Screw. And the magnitude of this game, everybody knows it. The fans, obviously, the players and coaches. There's just with them a palpable buzz right now. They know they control their own destiny win and you're in and i think every player wants that i think every coach wants that i haven't been an organization yet that wants to be in a game where they have to rely on other teams to get them to, to their goals in this situation it's very cut and dry win and you're in the playoffs that's their mission that's their challenge so there you have it win and we're in the playoffs it. you just heard charles say with the great and got us focused week of practice we've had all year you wouldn't expect any different yeah and you know at the beginning of the season you have multiple goals they just have one now win the game the Browns on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. And they'll go on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Nothing. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. As okay, third and final timeout. We'll punt it. First and 10, first and 10, first and goal. Oh, no. No, no, no. And Cleveland geared up to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys 
in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. All right, so we're going to go for the Hail Mary, if you can see. On first and 10, Mayfield going deep here for Landry. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. All right, hang on. We'll... We're not going to the coach. Kickoff, first and 10, second and 10, third and 10, and we're going to the ball. Need to hold the Patriots from getting any any scores here. And on the ground they go with the running back. And not a whole lot to speak of. There. 21 so for 66 yards. The 20. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Oh, it's Here's picked Mayfield. off. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Here comes the Browns offense. That is not good. Field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. We got to get, we got to march down the, the field and get a touchdown. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. And he's got his man, that's Landry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. First down, Mayfield. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it a second down. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing route. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. 
And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They go play action here on first down. Come on, Mayfield. And this is caught at the 8. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. One quarter remains. One quarter remains. You take him. Hey, hey, hey. You got three. Got three. They go play action. Mayfield. That is caught at the seven yard line. And he'll be brought down here at the three yard line. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Let's go! Boom, They'll give it to him. Oh, no. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No we're going to go for the, the field goal. Yep, we're going to go for the field goal. 13, first and 15, second and 15, third and 10, first and 10, first and 10, second and 10, third and 10. And we're going to get the ball back. The Browns offense heading back out to take possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense got too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're 26 rushes, 84 yards for Denny for today. Points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easy. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Lawrence Guy, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. The Browns on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third and 17. Let's go! Mayfield off the play fake. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We're going to punt it. They get a touchdown. It's all over. Okay, they didn't. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Throw it. Mayfield incomplete. It was the veteran Devin McCourty. You got a hand in there to break that one up. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Coaching, suggestions, formation, single back. We're going to have to take a timeout. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Mayfield on play action. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. A gain of 32 that time. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. 
He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Oh, no, it's Crusher over. Is this game is over. This game is over. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Yep, this game is over. Well, they didn't get anything. We'll see what happens. Maybe this game isn't over. I'll have to wait and see what happens. The Browns offense trotting back onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because Flag holding on the offense. And finish off the without drive, a face mask. That does them no good to go According back to, to Baker well, Mayfield, you know that's a going. play on them. Finish things Personal off. Foul. That's the only way you can get it done. Face mask. Defense. Well, when you're leading in the So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. And Verdict, it gives there we go. A chance here on fourth down. This is do or die right here. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. Got it. Yeah, holding on the offense. But there is a flag. Holding and on, on the offense. Down, this is a big call. So they decline. Second down, third down, and here we go. That's it. It's over. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter so what you're playing. So the route started off hot. Playing. You take and it and you run with it. Falter. And you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for New England, they do finish things out with a victory here in the final week, but the victories were few and far between as they'll end the year 5-11. and 11. And by just about all accounts, not the type of year they were hoping to have. Meanwhile, for the Browns, this might wind up being a tough pill to swallow as they're going to finish the season at 9-7. and seven. And they'll get their shot at playoff football as they'll be on the road next week as a wild card. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Cleveland. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. We are on the road. We are in the playoffs. The next episode, we will be facing... I'm not quite sure who we'll be facing. We're going to find that out next week. As we will advance the week. Just so everybody sees there. We do got some upgrades. We will take the upgrades available. Elusive back. We'll get that. Moves up to 87 overall. We do have. Okay. Advanced. We will advance the week to the wild card. And in the wild card, we will be taking on, let's find out here real quick. You've made it to the wild card round. Remember, the playoffs are single elimination. So we'll be taking on the Cincinnati Bagels, if you will. Our yearly goals, let's find out what our yearly goals were. Uh, the MVP, of course, is Watson, Aaron Rodgers. Denny Ford is the award MVP. So we got the uh, seventh award uh, for uh, yearly awards, annual awards. So awesome, awesome, awesome. So we'll be playing that wild card match against the Bengals at Paul Brown Stadium. I do believe, let's take a look real quick. We're not going to quit. 
Let's see, we play our card. View player card? What do you view player card for? Oh, we got two skill points. Let's go ahead and get that. Get 93. We got one more skill point here real quick. We'll go with the elusive back, put it at 89. Our goals was uh, weekly goals, milestone go goals, run. Okay, all right. So anyway, uh, let's see the standings here real quick. Standings, you want schedule. Well, you know, we got schedule around here somewhere. Standing stats, playoff schedule. Team schedule. Okay, so team schedule. Let's take a look. So the regular season, we'll take a look at the Bengals real quick. Uh, we lost to the Bengals 31 to uh, 17 in week 8. And then we faced them again in week 11 and won by a uh, slim margin of a deuce at 16 and 14. Or 16 to 14. So 1-1 one one to be the rubber match. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, scratch those call marks in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Remember to whoop pack fam today. Sniff and bite into the bell icon. Become part of the rotation squad. And don't forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. We will see you for the next episode of Wolfman Lewis, your godfather wolf. Ow! I am out.